Well, Dr. Moscone, you've been doing a lot of research about ways women can prevent their chances of getting Alzheimer's. So let's start with increasing estrogen. Right. So there are, there are different ways to boost or maintain estrogen levels. And for some women, hormonal replacement therapy might be indicated, might be a good strategy. And they would encourage all women who are interested in exploring that to really reach out to their doctor and see if it is indeed the best strategy. But then for all women, there are other things that we can do today that do not require medications, but do require improving our lifestyle. To Natalie's point, there are many things that we can do to really support our hormones and their effects on our brains. And one very easy thing is to eat more plants. So something really interesting about estrogen is that it is the most ancient of hormones, which means that it's made by plants, it's made by animals, and it's made by humans. Mm. So estrogens from plants or phytoestrogens can enter the human body, and they have a very gentle estrogenic effect, which means that if you eat enough plant-based foods with regularity, that's effectively like a very gentle hormonal therapy. And the foods I'm thinking about are estrogen-rich plants like flax seeds and sesame seeds and chickpeas are a really good source or dried apricots and figs or whole grains and legumes are really very, very important sources and all sorts of berries. And the good news is that you only need two to three servings of berries per week as a woman to reduce your risk of cognitive decline. Natalie, you have always been the picture of health. And in fact, you wrote a tremendous cookbook and you've actually included a lot of these ingredients in your recipes, right? Thank you. Yes, you know, a lot of the foods I like to cook with incorporate these ingredients. And Dr. Moscone talked about berries. I love anything with berries. Mangoes, <laughs> for that matter. So um, I, I pretty much eat them daily. And, uh, you know, just good monounsaturated fats. It's such an easy way to, to help your body and to help your brain. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. About the market, panicked about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.